Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's time for another Thankful Thursday. And that's a great open tag started by our friend from the Great White North, Singing Toad. So Singing Toad, thank you so much for starting this great open tag. Gives us a, a chance to pause once a week and uh, thank people that deserve to be thanked because we are all so blessed here in this knife community. Everybody helping each other out. So thanks once again for this great open tag. If you haven't subscribed to Singing Toad, why head on over there. You bet. Great channel, great content, great guy. Singing Toad. Subscribe today. All right. Today I want to do a salute to that man, Thrifty Kniffy. TK, as he's commonly known. TK sent me a package a couple days ago. I opened it up and I almost fell out of my chair. He sent me something that I've been wanting for a long time. And for him to think of me and to send it to me and go through all of that effort, I'm just blown away. John, thank you so much. He put a little note in with it and he says, a little something for my favorite history buff. And he is correct. I love history. And what he did is he sent me the Levine's Guide to Knives and Their Values, second edition. Yeah, I've been wanting to pick up some books like this, and I just never got around to it. Always a knife coming first, you know. You know how it is. But I just got to thank John. I'm so thankful for his friendship. And just a little story. Uh, you know, I've always said it was TK and RJ that first reached out to me. I uh, I kind of came up with a knife, uh, an idea of sending a knife around to have other people review and this and that. And uh, I think it was John that first came up with the idea of calling it a traveling knife. So I want to give him due credit for that. So whenever you see traveling knife videos, you can think of Thrifty because he came up with a name for that, calling it a traveling knife. So I just wanted to acknowledge, you know, Thrifty's done things like he sent me this beautiful Barlow. Of course, it's an advertising knife from a company that not too far from where I live. And he said it needed to come back home, home to Iowa. Just look at this beautiful Barlow. He cleaned it all up. Yep, nice colonial Barlow, two-bladed Barlow. There's our tang stamp. Can you see that? There we go. Yeah, just a beautiful knife. The covers are in such great condition, too. Nice white synthetic. Did a good job of engraving on the bolsters there. Nice brass pins. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful knife. So thanks again for that one, John. And, of course, I didn't have one of these, and these were all the rage. <laughs> the angry watermelon. <laughs> Yep, he sent me one of these too. It's a cute, fun little knife. Yeah, it's actually uh, assisted opening. And that blade does fire out there pretty good. But just kind of a neat knife. The Angry Watermelon. There's, there's other knives in this series. I can't name them all. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for, look at that little lanyard hole too, yep. Thanks again for that one, John. He's also sent me, well, when I went over a thousand subs, he uh, donated a knife uh, for giveaway for that, part of my giveaway for that. So he's always been there. He's always encouraged me, given me lots of help along the way. So <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to Thrifty Kniffy, I don't know where you've been. He has just got a great channel. As a matter of fact, uh, he's going to be celebrating 5,000 subscriptions. And, I, man, I meant to check and see how close he is. Oh, I'll have to look it up and put a note up here. But him and then uh, I think Slippy is uh, looking at 3,000 subscriptions. Boy, talk about a couple of hot channels. They both put out great comment, uh, comments, great content, and... Uh, yeah, you just got to go watch them. 
Oh, and don't forget. Oh, let me get a sticker real quick. Yeah, here we go. Slip Joint Sawyer, Thrifty Kniffy. Uh, they have uh, the TK and the Slippy Show or the Slippy and TK Show, something like Who gets top billing? Does TK get top billing? Is it TK and Slippy? I don't know. But they have a great live show every Sunday morning at 1030 Central. So make sure to check out their show also. It's a lot of fun. Now, about this book, look at this. You know, you know I love history. And you just open this book up, and it is full of so much information. You know, here's a, a section on pen knives. Now, I've got a lot of uh, lobster knives. And, you know, I picked this one up the other day, and I've been cleaning on it. I haven't done a video on it yet, but... You know, it looks similar to this one there. Now, this one's a sleeve board. That one's not. But just, yeah, so now I can learn more about these knives. And there's equal end lobsters, sunfish lobsters, and dolphins. There's uh, fish candle end lobster. I am, boy, this thing just goes into so much detail. I don't know how I got by without it. You got Serpentine and Warncliffe Whittlers, Swell Center Serpentine and Norfolk Whittlers. It just breaks it down into great detail, gives great examples. Just thumb through here, just there's the pen knives. There's the Senator or Equal End pen knives. Three blade Senators, not Whittlers. Yeah. Here was, I wanted to find something here, if I can. Hang on just a second, I want to thumb through and find something to show you. Okay, I found it. Here's a section on boys' knives. Now, I do have a, an old knife. It's just two pieces of stamped metal uh, riveted together, single-bladed. And uh, it's called uh, the boys' favorite. It's stamped into the metal. And... It kind of comes here from the boys' knives. And up until the 1930s, most boys' knives sold for 10 cents or less, so their construction is the cheapest possible. Some even say dime knife on the handle. And, uh, yeah, Patty's Potato Peelers did a video in response to me finding that boys' knife. Looks something like this here, only it said the boys' favorite. So this book is just so full. Oh, there's the corn knife. We're always talking about corn knives. Well, uh, there's two types of corn knife. One is for the kinds of corn you corns you find on your feet, and you need to trim them off. And so there's an actual corn knife to trim them off. The corn knife I'm always talking about is a machete type blade that we use to actually cut stalks of corn with. So, uh, yep, sailors knives. Florist knives, sunfish, Eureka jacks, canoes and surveyor jacks. Very interesting. Look at all the different kinds of uh, just jack knives. Curved jacks and congress jacks, sleeve board and jumbo jacks, sleeve board jacks, slim jacks, regular jacks. Ha ha ha! Boy, this is going to keep me up at night. <laughs> but you know, I love to find... Well, I just did a video, a way back Wednesday video, on this butler knife. It sure would have been nice to have this book ahead of time before I shot that video. But this is really going to help me out uh, to help give you more information as I do these knife reviews. Because I do love these old ones. I do love these old ones. Yeah. Here's our, your fixed blade knives. Wow. Yeah. Look at that dagger there. Ooh. Hugh S. Sandy Tudor. So anyway, I just want to say thank you so much, TK, for your thoughtfulness. I can't thank you enough. You're a great member of the community. And, uh, Congratulations on your channel's growth. It's fantastic. I'm rooting for you all the way, my friend. So just keep up the good work. 
So down here in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to leave a uh, link to my playlist. And of course in the center is that Knife Delights logo. Hit that if you'd like to subscribe. And down here in the lower left hand corner is the next video YouTube recommends that you watch. And as always, until next time, have a very delightful day.